Ooh, yes, it's that time of the week again. Thank you for joining us. It's What's Up Wednesday, and we are going to give you a nice little taste of what our week has had in store right after this. <laughs> Yes, work time. All right, so we got a lot to do today and a lot to get done. So it's gonna be basic, basic work, work, work. All we do is work, 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 work. I'm, I'm done working. I can't, I'm not done. I just need coffee. That's exactly what I need. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, that just happened. There's just something happy in my brain that happens when I drink coffee. And I just started drinking coffee. It works. Speaking of works, I gotta get back to works. Charging like equipment in here. It smells like burning plastic. It's probably not a good thing. It's about that eclipse time, so I'm gonna head to Christian school and watch this eclipse with him. Should be really neat. Got some lessons going out this afternoon and maybe be able to score a quick session myself. So we got some just birds up there kind of chilling out. Like a normal moose. I can look through here because. What's that? I film it. Film what? With my phone. Yeah, of course. This is totally worth sending the time. Oh, there's the moon and then the sun. Oh, yeah, that is so much cool. That was so much cooler in there. Man, take a look some more. That's think? neat. Good. That's pretty cool. It's like it's almost all gone, huh? I love you, man. Happy solar eclipse day. What do you have to say to the solar eclipse vlog? It was awesome. So the eclipse was pretty cool. It uh, it was cool. Uh, there's no other way to explain it. So the, it never got totally dark, but it got, you know, this nice dimness, intense sharpness to everything. It was really neat. Got to see my son, see his first eclipse, and that was kind of cool. Hopefully one day he'll share the same experience with his kids or his family. Continuing a cool cycle of exploration and science. Speaking of exploration and science, someone needs to come out with an automatic email responder because I got some emails that I need to respond back to. There's another one. Uh, for the rest of the today, maybe just get out. If the wind is still bumping, then uh, get some session. We've got the 2017 North Mono and we're gonna try it out in some waves and see how it does with the surfboard. So we're gonna try both the North Nugget and the North Whip for 2017. Put those to their paces on a single strut kite. This has been a really great kite for just about everything from learning to foiling. And uh, I even took it out freestyling the other day. It has a lot of pull and it does actually slack the lines a little bit. So I'm very curious to see what it's gonna do in the surf. to give you some impressions right off the water. Uh, first and foremost, the Mono is a one-strut kite that works well for just about everything. If you're a beginner, it's gonna work really good for you. It's very stable, very easy to use. It's got a nice amount of bar pressure so you can really feel the kite. If you're an intermediate rider who wants a kite that can kind of do a little bit of everything, it works well. And if you want a kite that packs down super small for traveling and can really fill out just about any destination that you go to, the Mono definitely is for you. 
As far as surf is concerned, it works. It's definitely not a surf dedicated kite. It does turn nice and quick. It does release a lot of power on the sheet out of the bar. Uh, what I did find today though, paired up with a surfboard, on those top turns when you go to really cycle the kite around, it does tend to kind of pivot and then die. It doesn't want to surge forward like the Neo does. So you have to be a little patient with the power, send it a little bit slower and be ready to kind of sheet out, let the kite breathe and, and move forward. But all in all, it works. It really can be kind of a one kite quiver for just about everything. I was on a 15 meter today in about 12 to 18 miles an hour, and I had more than enough. I was in the upper wind range. There's plenty of settings for turning speed. You can slow the kite down, you can speed it up. But again, mono and surfboard, check. It works. enjoyed that video if you want to see more make sure you click like subscribe smash that like button and leave us a review let us know what else you want to see we drop new stuff every week so come on back and again thanks for spending your time with us